so my beautiful people i'm going to share with you how i dry my meat and fish locally okay so anytime i'm not using my oven gas or electric oven or air fryer this is another method i dry my meat and fish and it's so fast and it also lasts longer so if you're interested in this kind of video just let's get into the video okay let me quickly share with you how i achieve this thank you so much hey lovely people good morning so how you lovely people doing today hope you guys are doing fine it's your sister again give c and you're welcome to today's vlog so guys i want to do something that i want to show you guys here is meat this is chicken and i have fish so i want to dry it i want to dry the chicken and the fish okay and i want to dry it locally so guess what you know i like carrying lovely people along with me right so i'm going to show you the local way i dry my meat and my fish okay so let's get started okay so i'm going to start by making the fire okay this is charcoal and this is the local um, oven stand that i'll be using let me show you very well this is what they use in roasting bole if you're in potacot or if you know bole this is what they use in roasting bole okay so this is the charcoal i'm already putting the charcoal in here so let me just light the fire okay i have and um, this is kerosene and this is lighter so i'm just going to sprinkle i made a hole here i made a hole here so i'm just going to sprinkle kerosene on the charcoal And I will use my lighter to light it. As you can see my charcoal has been lighted okay so it's catching now it's ready I want to start drying so lovely people keep watching so I'm going to place this Okay, so lovely people, starting with fish. Let me just sprinkle some salt to it. Yes, so I will just start placing this fish was actually more than this so I fried some what did we use it to cook it was soup sorry we use it to prepare okra soup it wasn't fried so this is the remaining one the remnants I say let me dry it at once so that we can use it to prepare something else why the chicken you saw earlier was also and uh, the one you're seeing is the remnant i used part of it to prepare stew so i just want to dry it too so that we can eat it in a different form you know
Okay, lovely people. So this is it. The fish is almost roasted. As you can see, it looks somehow bone. Okay, that's why I added this spoon to the um, oven so that it will give it height. Okay, because if this was down, so the fire was coming directly to the fish. Okay, so this is the chicken. See how beautiful they are looking. <laughs> So at least now I know better. Next time I will just give it some height so that it will not um, dry so fast. If you take a dryer process, um, if you take a dryer process to dry, and if it wants to wait, no, I'm just saying that this one should allow me to finish this one before it starts. I'll see you when I'm done. Okay. Okay, lovely people. So as you can see, I've removed the fishes, and this is the chicken is ready to. I just said, let me show you guys how I locally dry my fish and meat okay whenever i'm not using the oven gas or the electric oven so this is it this is another alternative you know this is very well they use in green and barbecue barbecue roasting boiler just a popular local oven thank you so much for watching if you are watching for this episode don't forget to hit the like button share and subscribe see you lovely people in my next video bye